This is going to be the first video where we actually start working inside of Unreal Engine for this series. Now in this one, all we're going to do is just simply create the project and just have a general or just a quick overview of what is going on inside of the project and how we're going to actually set the project up for the work we do going forwards. So to begin, go ahead and open up the Epic Launcher, go over to click on Unreal Engine, go to Library, and you can select whichever engine version you already have. If you do not have one, click the little plus beside the engine version. Select your version, such as one of these. I'm going to do 4.25 for this one. Click install. And you can go ahead and install. You also have a bunch of other options. You can enable or disable. I usually disable everything related to mobile, Linux, all that kind of stuff for these series and it drops the size down overall a good bit however I would recommend you also set up editor symbols for debugging and that would help you out a bit when you get stuck so anyways once you've done that go ahead and click launch on the engine and wait for it to load up okay once it's loaded up you will be met with this window here and you also notice if you have Steam VR or something like that, that will also launch. So what you'll be want to, well, what you're going to want to do is scroll down, go to Games, Next, select which template you want. In this case, because we're not going to be focusing on any sort of multiplayer replication, we're just going to use the first-person template, which is not replicated or anything like that, because I already have a s small series covering replication. So once you get <clears throat> far enough along inside of this series. I would recommend you watch that and that will kind of help guide you into the basics of working with multiplayer and Unreal Engine. So we're going to select the first person template. Next, click Blueprint and select C++ and then give it a name. Mine's going to be called Beginner or Beginner to Tut or Beginner Tut for tutorial. Everything else default and hit Create Project. Okay, once that's done, if this is your first engine install, you will probably be compiling shaders right about now, and you will also most likely have Visual Studio open as well. If I'm, I went ahead and closed Visual Studio because I'm not going to be uh, using that. I'm going to be launching it through a different IDE. But once you're met here, we're going to go ahead and alter some plugins. So you have this option down here. You can hit Manage Plugins, or you can come up here to Settings, Plugins, and here we can change whatever we want to remove. So I want to remove everything related to VR because I do not want this popping up every single time. So I'm going to search for VR and uncheck Steam VR and Oculus VR plugins and hit restart now. And then wait for it to load back up. And we are good to go. The VR never launched. Now I'm going to go to Documents, Unreal Projects, Beginner, Tutorial, and open up the .sln. And for example, you might use it in Visual Studio. I'm using Rider currently. And wait for that to load. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure that it does actually compile just fine. And make sure there's no errors or anything like that that we have to worry about. You hit the drop down on the games folder you will see the name of your project here and once that's done you can drop it down go to source and the name of the game again and here's all of your files that come with it by default i'm going to right click on the project and hit build and this will confirm that everything is okay which it is so that means we are good to go but now we can start actually going through and making our classes. So a quick overview here of just in general working with Unreal Engine. You sh obviously, I'd imagine you would know it by now, but hold right mouse button down. You can use WASD, fly around, C and E to move up and down. And if you hold down left mouse, you can pan around, go forwards, all that kind of stuff. If you hold down both mouse buttons, you can go up and down, left, right. Basic movements like that. However, when you come over here to Content Browser, 
I usually hate this kind of style here, so I click this little button here to open the sources panel, like such, and that gives me option or the option to select C++ classes where we can create our own classes. Now by default, I don't know if the output log is there, so what you would generally do is go up here to Window, Developer Tools, Output Log, and it'll load up. Now this is useful for whenever we do any sort of logging. We can easily print it right here to the console without having to use breakpoints and figure out what the variable value is and that kind of stuff. It just makes it a little bit easier, in my opinion, to do it this way. Now you may also have this panel over here. So details, I think, by default's over here. So I always drag that over here to the left. And world settings, I use. we really don't touch this that much. So that can go ahead and be closed. And whenever you want to reopen it, just go to settings, world settings, and it'll bring it right back up. Another thing, you won't have this developer's folder, that's not really needed for this series, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here to view options and uncheck show developer content, and you can change what is there. So if you wanted to, you could also show engine content and have this huge list of stuff here, and same thing goes for if you have any plugins enabled and that kind of stuff, you can have all that be appearing right there as well. That's going to be it for this video. In the next one, we're going to be going over some basic things, talking about, you know, what certain things are, such as what are actors, what are characters, what are pawns, what are the differences, what's the player controller for, that kind of stuff. Just getting into a small discussion and trying to overview the different parts that make up this character here. So that way you can hopefully get an understanding of what's behind it that actually drives your character, such as the moving around, the jumping, shooting, all that kind of stuff. Another, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. And a real quick tip, if you're flying around and it's going too fast for you like this, you can hold down your right mouse button like this and scroll wheel backwards towards yourself. So here's I'm at full speed and I scroll wheel back and I'm going slower, scroll wheel forward to go faster, that's just a useful tip, so that way you don't have to come up here and change your camera speed each time. This also gives you different speeds, so if I set it on one, I'm super slow, but I can scroll wheel up. And now I'm at the max camera speed for camera speed one. So those are just some quick little tips. I would recommend leaving at three. I'm going to go up here, file, and hit save all. And that's going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description. If you have any questions or anything like that, you can also find a link to my Discord server down there as well. And as always, I will see you in the next video.